Hello everyone, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. Today we want to talk about the X-Bus, which is the last solar electric vehicle that we're going to talk about. The others being the Lightyear One, the Sonos Ion, and of course the Aptera. The X-Bus was, I didn't really know about it. One of our viewers mentioned it and said that we need to talk about it. It's a very interesting vehicle. It's super cute. It's very small. It's kind of like the European it's tiny version of the canoe. It's a modular vehicle. So um, here, let, we'll watch the little pitch for about one minute. This brings us to the X-Bus, one of the most environmentally friendly four-wheeled electrical vehicles in the world. The X-Bus is not just 98% recyclable, it can create its own energy with solar foils integrated in the roof. Furthermore, the four very efficient wheel-up motors can feed back the braking energy into the batteries. The X-Bus has been designed by LEGO principle. It can be transformed by replacing the modules. You can make it even a camper version, or a pickup, a transport, or a box body. I do not need a new vehicle for every purpose, but I can simply replace the module in less than one hour. We are happy to have you with us and welcome all new investors in the XBus family. Okay, so you can tell the thing is tiny. It's really small and actually it's um, listed as what's called a heavy quadricycle L7E. This is a European Union um, legal description. And what it is, is it cannot weigh more than 450 kilograms or 600 kilograms for vehicles intended to carry goods, which that's what they're saying that the X-Bus is. It's intended for carrying goods. So the main chassis is 600 kilograms. Um, so they're not including the mass of the battery. So if you add batteries, that increases more. And it cannot uh, carry more than 200 kilograms of passenger. So that essentially means you can't carry more than three people um, because you're not going to find four people. If you try to carry four people, it has to be, they have to be less than um, 50 kilograms each, which like almost no adults, less than 50 kilograms um, each or a thousand kilograms of goods. So it's a, essentially they say on their website that it's a, um, three passenger vehicle, although they have seats for up to four or um, more, depending on which configuration. And it's kind of modular and you can um, make all the different modules for it. Now, uh, I was looking at their um, technical data and here's the most interesting thing I found out about the whole thing. Okay, so just like Aptera, they use hub motors, which is cool. And their hub, they have four hub motors rated at 3.7 kilowatts each. So that gives a total uh, power of 15 kilowatts. That's like 20 horsepower. So this car has 20 horsepower. Um, that's like less horsepower than many electric motorcycles. So they claim that, so they haven't, they don't give you any acceleration time. I'm guessing with 20 horsepower, it's not going to be impressive. And they think that the top speed is going to be over 100 kilograms per hour, so over 62 miles per hour. Um, I think that's wildly op optimistic. So empty weight um, is going to be 500 to 800 kilograms without batteries. And the total weight that's permissible is 1,600 kilograms. Um, if you try to move 1,600 kilograms, with 20 horsepower, I'm not sure that it can go anywhere that's uphill. Uh, and I expect that trying to hit 62 miles per hour will be pretty hard. Now, I don't know if that's a typo, but I don't think so. I mean, they, they repeat it multiple times. Like, it's not like this makes sense. 3.75 times 4 is 15. And their peak performance is 56 kilowatts, which is like, I don't know, 75 horsepower. Um, it's not a lot. And then uh, they have, you can have solar roof on the driver cab, the center cabin, and the rear module. So if you add this all together, that is about 820 watts peak of solar um, gathering. Now, they claim that that will give you 200 kilograms. So that's about 120 miles of electric range per day. 
that also seems wildly optimistic because they're saying that this uh, battery pack, if you have a 10 kilowatt battery pack, which is the base battery pack, it'll give you in city driving 200 um, kilometers of, of range. That's 120 miles of range. So they're saying that their electric uh, roof will fully charge 10 kilowatt hours in a day with a 820 watt panel. That The math doesn't seem to totally work out in that. And th so they're saying daily range of 200 kilograms with integrated solar modules and recuperating drives. So I'm not sure if they're saying that they're going to roll it downhill for a while and that's also the recuperating drives. Anyways, I think the car is really cute and uh, cool, except that if you ever want to take it uphill or on the highway, it's probably not happening. But if you need a vehicle for flat areas and you don't need to go fast and um, you need a small vehicle that will fit in tight roads, uh, then I think this is great. Um, so if you needed kind of a city vehicle or um, a place where you... Um, want to go outside the city but not very fast and you want a versatile car that you can make it modular like their camper looks really fun um, this is something interesting the price is really good so um, it starts at uh, 17,500 euros that's extremely it's extremely good and then if you get you know if you get the camper then it goes up to 30,000 euros. So that's the most expensive version. But you can get all different types of modules. You can get like the pickup truck. And then you can get the pickup truck with a bigger bed. You can have it totally open. Um, you can have a bus, which doesn't make sense to me because you can only carry legally up to 200 kilograms of passengers. Or you can have a little delivery like if like this would be a perfect car for like a delivery service in a city like a small european city would be awesome so i i love it that it's got um that it's light it's efficient mainly because it's slow it's efficient because it's slow and um it, it um it's kind of like the least it's the concept of getting the smallest vehicle for the use case that you need so anyway very very uh, interesting vehicle it's a lot like the canoe except it's solar and much smaller and doesn't go fast but it's extremely affordable starting at 17,500 euros um, it's very versatile um, and it and uh, you know they put solar on the there's quite a bit of solar space on the roof and I think because it goes so slow um, it doesn't use up very very much power. Although I still think this two, 120 miles of daily solar range is a little optimistic. And I, I just can't, I can't believe that this will work. 20 kilowatts of total system performance. That's like one fourth the continuous power of a single hub motor that's used in the Aptera. All right, well, tell me what you guys think about this X-Bus. I think it's really interesting, but probably won't work in America. It's definitely not working in America. It might work in Europe, but it's not working in America.